Thanks to RC Gord E for answering my question in segment 11 about what I thought were ladders. They're not ladders. Part 839 are rub rails to hold the lifeboats away from the side of the ship. So thanks to him, I was able to go back, remove those, and even though they were still intact and I could have used them, RC had said that his were cut out so that they kind of rested against the side of the ship and that makes sense. So I went ahead and just made these and replaced the ones that were there. So those are not ladders, they're rub strips for the uh, lifeboats and save the day thanks to helpful viewers. As a bonus, I'm going to very quickly show you gold leafing on one of the parts of the ship. This is my quick tutorial from a non-professional on applying gold leaf. Things that you'll need. I purchased some makeup brushes. There's several in there I use and to choose from. The most important one is this fan brush. The other ones are just nice and soft to uh, brush the gold in. And then I use a, a little stiffer paintbrush to help remove some of the residue. You'll need some leafing, whether you get copper, gold, or whatever you get. This, here's their website if you're interested. I purchased this through Amazon. It was a little more expensive than the others. It says it's genuine gold leaf. First step is to put the adhesive on the item you're going to leaf. I think it's also called gilding, maybe. I'm going to start uh, up here on the dove. I've already done the back side, and then this I'll kind of wrap around if I need to. And the trick here is you want to put it on evenly. So I'll brush some of this away as I go. Then you're going to let this dry until it's clear. I shouldn't say dry, you're going to let it get tacky. And that takes a few minutes. It'll be fairly completely clear when it's ready to go. And you want to make sure you get it in any of the little cracks and crevices. I'm going to stop about there because the, the skirting of the angel is in the vise. So I'll do that after I do this first part. It is dried, and these come in different size, large squares, and what I've done is cut these into smaller ones because I have such small pieces. There's also two different types. One style you kind of lift off with this fan brush and then lay it on your work. This stays attached to the paper, and uh, so then you press it on your work. So I'm going to do the, the lower part of the body up to about the neck. I want to try and fill in any of the black spots before I start brushing away the gold if I can. You don't have to worry about getting too much because you'll be brushing off what isn't sticking. Now it's a matter of brushing away all the extra flakes. This is where I can take a, a, a stiffer brush, but you want to be still gentle with it. Probably more gentle with it than the other brush. And like right there, there's a little dark spot. I can come back, put a little more glue there, and then touch it up and it, it will blend in because the the metal leaf is so thin. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'll come back and do the back section. So here she is. 
I'm happy. I actually like the not gold not being filled in all the way there. I'll wait a few days and decide because, like I said before, you can go back, lightly brush on some more of the adhesive, and then brush on more of the gold leaf. So if you can envision her on the front of the black pearl, we'll see if uh, if she ages or I could artificially age her. I'm undecided on that, but that could actually be done at any time, even after the ship is completely finished. So that's my short lesson on using gold leaf and gilding the statue that goes on the front of the Black Pearl.